Hey Sagittarius, this is your reading for November 26th through the 29th, and this could resonate for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So I pulled a few cards, Sagittarius, just to see what the general energy is around you for this holiday weekend and what you got. Uh, they're crystal cards. You got quartz here, and you also got the uh, Vanna tonight. So this looks to me like a Sagittarius who is seeking clarity in their life at this time or seeking clarity this weekend. And um, you also could feel like there could have been some illusions in front of you, Sagittarius, and this could be something that you're seeking um, illumination about. So it says enhance your vision for the quartz and then break through your big blocks for the Vanna tonight. So you could be feeling blocked in some way as well. There's also a lot of talk about manifesting in this quartz card. So that could be something that you've been working on too. Um, you could also have been dealing with a Gemini or there's a Gemini in your energy. So the uh, thing that it's talking about to see through the illusion of or to get clarity on is some self-doubt. And it says surrender to the universe and start manifesting the impossible. So I think Sagittarius, you have been working on something and, you know, putting in the work, trying to manifest it. Um, but you're just feeling like at a certain level, you know, um, like, I guess you might call it like the glass ceiling or something. You're like, I'm just encountering a block. Like, I don't know how much further I can get on this without like some help. Um, so I don't always pull crystal cards for every reading. And so I was just thinking that might be something that could actually be helpful for you, Sagittarius, if you are really already doing a lot of work on manifesting and, you know, using your spirituality in that way. It could be that, you know, adding something at this time might be like helpful or can supercharge it, which the quartz does say that it talks about, um, how it can intensify the power of other stones or crystals in your collection. So if you're already using crystals, maybe there's something this weekend too that you could do just to kind of like refresh the energy, cleanse them in some way or like rearrange them maybe um, if you're into like crystal gridding or something like that. So let's get some tarot and just see um, what else is going on. Let's see what's in your energy for this weekend. So we have the four of pentacles here, which is like someone who is really holding on tightly to, you know, what they have, what they've achieved. Um, but she's looking back home and I, there's just something that seems kind of like threatening about home, which makes sense because, you know, it is um, Thanksgiving and a lot of people are thinking about going home or going home. It could literally be dangerous. Um you know, with the pandemic, but also let's just say, um, it isn't that. And Thanksgiving is like a really triggering time for a lot of people. Even if like right up to the day, you're like, nah, it doesn't really bother me. I don't know. There's just something about it that does bother people. So that's what I'm getting from that. And like you could be protective of something that you're like creating, Sagittarius, how these cards were like, you know, you're kind of feeling like there's a block or that you're going to encounter a block. Maybe you feel like um, this holiday or being at home in some way could like trigger something or just um, not be conducive to your, you know, energetic success at this time. So then we have the tower in reverse. Yeah. So like avoiding something about at home. Now I'm starting to feel Sagittarius like you don't want to tell people at home or in your family. I think it's like when you go home, you're like, I don't want to talk about this thing that I'm creating because I'm trying to protect my creation. Um, I just like don't need that in my life right now. Like I don't need um, people's negativity. <laughs> Okay, so what is, how is it actually going to go at home then? The high priestess in reverse. So you're really, you really are trying to block it, Sagittarius. Maybe you don't 
I am getting the impression that maybe you just don't think it's possible. Maybe, and maybe it is, maybe it is terrible at home. I'm sorry to say, I'm not saying it definitely is for you, but I'm also trying to validate that, you know, um, sometimes people in people's families that we can't choose, you know, are this way when it comes to what we talk about or whatever. Like we feel like they might be kind of judgmental or, um, also you just like don't want to feel rejected about this thing you're talking about. So it's like in a way you're blocked in your intuition because, it's like you can't hear that. You can't hear that it might be okay. That's what I'm getting. So, Spirit, can you please clarify this just to make sure that's correct? I just saw the magician in the middle there. So there really is a lot about, you know, magic, manifesting, illusions here. So the eight of pentacles, somebody has been studying something, the seven of wands, they are choosing which way to go, like which path to take out of the things that they could do to manifest the situation that they want. And then the king of swords, what's this king of swords, the magician in reverse. Okay. <laughs> well, this sort of took a turn spirit. So what else do you want to tell them about all this? So now all this and this says to me, you know, it's so um, something, something about home, money, something I'm avoiding a tower moment, like um, something could fall apart, but I just like don't want to deal with it. But I've been learning ways that I could deal with this maybe in a spiritual sense, um, because it could have to do with the King of Swords, like my father or uh, some some other masculine or patriarchal figure in your family household and with the magician in reverse like I'm gonna be in control but not having but I'm blocked in my intuition about this so what else and also you know the courts and the um Vanna tonight was really kind of giving me these like uh religious religiousness kind of vibes so we have um death in the reverse here so it could be that this could be triggering about going home because there has been like a literal death in the family maybe um the five of cups just looking at only the past again um and how it didn't go your way or feel quite like you would have wanted it to maybe when you were expressing your feelings or emotions yeah the ten of cups reverse it wasn't a happy family um the king of cups i think the king of cups is like what you well let's just see what what you wanted the hanged man the chariot yeah like maybe my father is the king of swords emotionally speaking and so just in the past I know how he has been to me or to other people at Thanksgiving time and um you know I don't know what this is about what you are learning to do and manifesting you know there is there is this aspect there is definitely this like occult aspect here that I just I mean you'll know it if it's your story so reversing some other kind of magic or um at least you know tearing through illusions not being um not letting this person like pull the wool over your eyes or something like that and then we could have have something to do with like literal death is what i'm getting um which again you know sometimes this is going to come up to in a pandemic time reading in this joyous 2020 because that also has to do with going home for Thanksgiving you know so if anything you can see how the energy at Thanksgiving time is is always like this there's always a certain like I don't know like pressure and sadness and like rethinking even you know if your household was happy but I mean like what this is telling me is this is about someone who's whose childhood or growing up or like household wasn't that happy um you know so 
this is just a time. And I think it has to do more with just like the holiday itself, you know, just seasonally and everything. This is this is when people start thinking about these things and then could get triggered, which is ultimately good. I mean, it helps us work through like our biggest blocks. So if you're on some kind of ascension journey or some other kind of spiritual path where, you know, your um, delving into your psyche is important because that is that is one of the keys, you know, to doing this kind of work, then then this time of year is always going to feel feel kind of like this and you'll always tune in and sense like other people this being like a thing with other people it's like a there I think the veil is thin around this time particularly for Thanksgiving you know it's kind of strange because you usually say that maybe one of the other holidays is everyone's favorite but I guess it's not really about it being anyone's favorite it just it just does this to people so anyway um so or maybe you just want to like put this down. Maybe that's like the literal death. Like I would like to just put this behind me, but I can't because things like Thanksgiving come up and it's like this all over again. Like I cannot have enough control over my psyche or myself to like mm, protect myself from this or something. So that might be the bigger lesson here too. So anyway, I find myself just focusing, you know, on the past and how it didn't go my way. And I am not seeing the way forward, like having this enlightenment. And I don't mean this like you're not trying, Sagittarius. You obviously are with the Eight of Pentacles. I think you're trying very hard. It's just like the nature of a spiritual path or someone who does spiritual or energetic work. Like you're confronted all the time and, you know, to the depths of your soul. So, um, so so I think you recognize that, like, I'm not seeing my way to not let this affect me anymore. Um, I always go through holidays and I think about, you know, how my my Ten of Cups was reversed. It wasn't my happy family because my father wasn't the Ten of Cups. He was the King of Swords. And now, though, it looks like you might be going towards, like I said, a new, like, like the actual enlightenment, you know, a new perspective. But as per usual with these things, especially for a Sagittarius, it's like you can't, you can't really know how it's going to be. You think you might and then you're like, nope, got me again, spirit. Like, <laughs> So I feel like you're struggling thinking that it could be any different when you go back. Maybe you're just like, I just want it to be different. I want to change it. I'm just going to magic it or something, you know. Um, but really, I guess what you're being taught is something about a new perspective about this whole situation. So with the chariot reversed here, um, you know, it's like feeling like <sighs> reckless. There's like something about your spirit that because with these cards up here, too, there was something that was said about um, for people that are seeking m that are lacking self-discipline. So it's like there's something about your spirit that you feel needs discipline, you know, and that's very Sagittarian, too. I mean, you are a wild sign and very impulsive and that's part of your charm but I mean I there's this other side too that can feel like if you get triggered in a situation like who knows how you're gonna act you know like <laughs> so but then we have the knight of cups here upright in the end which is like a message of love and it's from someone who's younger you know like this the king of swords and the king of cups obviously I feel is like you know, the father figure here, one that you wish he was and the one that, you know, you perceived him as. So it could be that with the Knight of Cups, this is like learning something about your dad when he was younger. Could be. Um, also could be just like the Knight of Cups is a new offer. You know, it's like small. It's not like a super duper offer of commitment, but it could be like a father figure being like, I want to try to start a new or to like fix this, you know, or even just like being nice. Who knows what has happened? Like, and I mean, maybe he won't tell you everything, but I think that it could be different this time. But then in the end, I see that you are the nine of wands here, Sagittarius, and you are still um, <laughs> kind of untrusting about this. And um, you're just on guard. So, but that's what I have for you. I accidentally just like turned this over and it's the lovers reversed here. So, you know, just take it how it resonates. But um, hopefully this was helpful for you, Sagittarius. You know, I think it could be possible that um, 
that your dad might kind of like want to try to make things right. Can he change everything? No. Could you learn something new? Yes, I definitely think you could. And, you know, if you broke up with somebody and you have to say that now, like, I don't know, maybe there's going to be somebody new that you're going to meet. Also could be, yeah. Well, there you go at the very end. Who knows what that's about? But that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you could please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.